Welcome back, everybody. This is Ken with the Shop Mini RC, and uh, our buddies over at Tinker Time, you know them from uh, our 3D printed build. They made this cage. They do a lot of cool 3D printed stuff. Uh, but our friends over at Tinker Time have been killing it with Lexan bodies. They actually 3D print out different bodies they want to design, and then they will vacuum form mold. You know, they use them as the mold for the vacuum form. And he makes all kinds of really awesome Lexan bodies. He's even got window masks and they're, they're just killing it with just a bunch of cool crawler and truck options. So we've got a whole bunch of box stock bodies. And I figured what better time than now to show off some of these awesome bodies that Brandon Olson, the owner over at Tinker Time, has been putting together. He's even selling some pre-painted bodies at just killer prices. But we've got all these box stocks. And so let's go ahead and check out some of the bodies that, you know, Tinker Time is offering. Now they've got a whole bunch more bodies than what we have here. So you definitely need to go to their website and check it out. They also have a ton of 3D printed stuff, 3D printed bodies, and just a bunch of other really cool accessories, some scale accessory stuff. Oh, and one of their best products, at least that's been around for the, the longest, that is very, very popular, are their different body mounts. And we got some of those to show you as well. The body mounts are awesome. They're sliders that have like a little, we'll, we'll just show you, we'll show you. Anyway, let's show you what we got from uh, Tinker Time on the Lexan body and body mount front. Pretty cool. Now, I am far from a pro painter, especially when it comes to Lexan. I haven't painted much Lexan stuff at all. In fact, this is like the first Lexan thing I ever really painted, and it's just a solid color. These are all stickers. However, I just today actually painted this guy. I did all the masking. And it's all paint and it came out pretty good not 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 amazing but but it's good for my first real two-tone paint job i think uh, as one of our mini z's this is all-wheel drive atomic sz2 anyway it's not what this is about my point is i'm not the best painter however we're going to take a look at some of these bodies hopefully i can get some painted up pretty decently uh, we might even enlist some help from some of our local guys and uh yeah we'll just see see where we go with it he provided us this little awesome magnetized cooler. This is Tinker Times, one of their little accessories. Here's one of the first bodies we got. We got the Power Cab. This is the Power Cab 2400. We got this guy. This is the JT8 Banshee. I know they're hard to see right now because they're not painted up, but you can always look up on the website. This guy here is the Hobgoblin basically just a half cab we have the Ridge Runner which kind of looks like a kind of like a, a Hummer or Jeep but it's it's boated it's pinched in this is pretty awesome in addition to this we've got the Ridge Runner fender flare and body slider kit so we have some 3d printed molded uh, fender flares on there that'll look really cool and we got this guy this is the TT 42 C and this has comes with a 3d printed cage on it it's basically like old willies or you know old school army jeep this is gonna be really fun to put together and last we've got a set of the body mounts that i was talking about these are the mag sliders like i said they uh kind of fit in so they don't slide around one of the problems with magnet mounted bodies when you do your own magnets hold on i'll show you so one of the problems is that when you just have magnets like this they hold great but they slide side to side there's nothing holding them or preventing them from sliding off of each other, right? In fact, that's usually how I take the bodies off so I don't pull the magnets out of the, uh, the hot glue or the, the shoe goo, whatever we used. You know, but that does cause an issue sometimes if you hit something or you're, you're rolling or you're leaning on the side real hard, it can sometimes pull the body off. This guy here is a little, little bit better because we've got these, these are actually steering knuckles or um, A-arms from a mini B that we ended up, that were broken on the other end, so we just cut them and they kind of hold the magnets in place so they don't slide forward and backward, but they can still kind of slide side to side. But it does hold a little better. But the magnet mounts from Tinker Time take that to the next level because they have these cradles that mount to your sliders, which are adjustable, which is awesome. You can, slide, you can mount it anywhere on the slider. And then these parts here go on the body and they actually go inside the little cradle that way the magnet mount can't slide around you can't slide forward or backward you have to pull it straight off so that's a pretty cool little setup there and these are cheap too these are like 15 bucks i believe and you can also get extra 
uh, body mount sides, I think for five bucks, where you get these pieces with the magnets for five bucks. That way you can do a whole bunch of bodies on one chassis and just swap them out. Pretty, pretty sweet little setup. So I don't know which one we're going to do first, but we're going to do one of them and we'll be back. So here we have the TT42C. And this is the one that comes with some 3D printed parts. It's the roll cage essentially. And they need to be cleaned up and cut out and whatnot, but pretty awesome that it comes with that. So you've got an actual roll cage in there. Uh, definitely dig that. We're going to go ahead and put this together. And it, it's pretty easy. You can just exacto it out and sand them. You probably want to sand them down a little bit anyway. Maybe paint them. You don't have to though. I think they also offer um, different colors. So if you want a different color, you can get a different color. A few moments later. So we got our cage all done on this guy. Um, it did take quite a bit of sanding to get them kind of round. That uh, the flat part where it sits on the bed kind of has a sharp edge to it. So we had to do a lot of sanding. We dremeled it down quite a bit and then did the finishes with sanding. Um, we also chopped it down. We probably took a good five to eight millimeters worth of length off. Maybe, maybe, yeah, probably about eight millimeters worth of length to kind of shorten it down to give it a little bit more of a sporty look. Um, we also ended up heating it up just a little bit once we got it all done. We shortened these in quite a bit, probably about three or four millimeters, maybe five, to kind of taper it inward. So it had a little bit of an angled inward. Uh, and then we, like I said, we kind of heated it all up and let it kind of reset itself. After it was all screwed together, we heated it up. That way we knew that it was kind of formed to the shape that we had trimmed everything to. So anyway, we're going to uh, probably paint this whole thing red. We're going to paint it on the outside, I think. So we're going to cut it out, paint it on the outside. We're probably going to paint the whole thing red. Um, we'll take the cage off and paint it separate, but it'll be red as well. And then we'll do probably chrome on the cage or silver. I'm not sure yet. And then I don't know on the body yet. I don't know what to do on the body. Maybe yellow? Yellow could be cool. And then the idea is with the red underneath is that as it takes damage, uh, it'll get scuffed up and the red will start to show through and it'll look like rust. That's the hope anyway. So that's kind of the plan. We're probably going to paint the cage while it's completely assembled. So we'll paint the screws and everything. Um, I might even go and sand down or dremel down the screws just a little bit so they don't stick out quite so much. I think that's a good idea. We'll probably dremel these down because we're not going to need to take the cage apart. So we can kind of smooth out the screws so they don't stand out so much like screws. Anyway, um, it's pretty awesome. It was definitely well done. It's well printed. Like I said, we just wanted to modify it a little bit, make it a little bit more sporty looking. A little more hot roddy um, came with an extra screw so we have an extra just just in case we lost one but yeah yeah I dig it I'm liking it all right so we got the TT 42 C done yellow I think it looks good got a little bit of distress look in there put our tinker time cooler in the back for now it's just kind of pressed in and we got ourselves a little steering wheel we got the Red Bull rig, and these are the mounts we're using on this guy, and it'll pop right on there. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We're really digging the Tinker Time bodies for sure. We also just got this guy back, the Ridge Runner, from one of our local painters. Ooh! Look at how hot that is. So we need to get this guy cut out. And then we're going to put our, uh, our you know, fender fenders on there and rock sliders that are for the body. Yeah. I'm not sure what we're putting this guy on yet. Maybe we'll put it on the Cayman. Maybe? We'll see. Once we get it cut out, we're going to probably give ourselves a little bit of extra, just depending on what we're... Mm, maybe not. We'll, we'll cut it straight to the lines on these. On this one, we, we left a lot of extra. And I like it, actually. I think it helps the, the body. Like, I think we're supposed to cut all this out, but I like this extra. So, I'm digging it. We're gonna get this guy cut out, let's go. So we've always done a lot of hard bodies and never really did a lot of Lexan. So we just picked up this Lexan kit. And when we did do Lexans, we usually just exacto it and uh, broke it off. That's what we did on this, this guy here. This is all just exacto, and then you bend it and you break it off. In the round spots, you can exacto it and then cut into that. And then that gives you the ability to bend them without trying to bend this whole piece. And you can just snap them free. That's kind of generally how we've done it, just because we never had a Lexan kit, like scissors and um, a reamer. But we just got this literally today. And it comes with the reamer. 
Uh, we're also doing more mini Z bodies. Almost all, all of our mini Z bodies are hard bodies. Um, and then most of our crawlers too, actually. We have just a lot of hard bodies. And if it's a Lexan, it came that way. It came stock Lexan. So we never needed a body reamer. Uh, and then we have that and the scissors. These will be in the link down below. It was cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks. Um, and you get the straight scissors and they're shorter. So it's easier to cut through the, you know, without kind of bending on the, the Lexan as you cut. And then the rounded guys. I kind of wish they were a little more rounded, but I think just having it just enough gives you uh, the ability to kind of make better curves. So we'll try them out. I'll be honest, it kind of kind of stresses me out to cut into a such an awesome painted body. This guy is one of our local uh, Mini Z guys. He races 128 scale with us, and he painted up our next motorcycles. Well, one of them. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to give myself a little extra here. If you want to check out that video, it's over here. Yeah, this is this stresses me out. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. All right, so I don't know. I'm just probably not good with these things, but it just seems to be scratching the body. If I turn it and hitting the body, I've learned you just barely, barely cut it just a little bit. If you got any tips on this, put it in the comments below. I'm definitely not good at this yet. So we just kind of gave ourselves some space and then uh, we'll go back and we'll just drill it to some clean lines. Kind of see there, here's a little messed up. Um, I'm just, just not there yet. I don't want to mess this up too bad. So I'll play it safe. Like I said, we'll, we'll drill it, clean it up, make it nice. Nice and smooth. I need to see what the side rails look like and where we're going to need to mount them so I don't know how much to cut off. So again, we're just playing it safe. It's better to cut off too little than too much because you cut off too much, you're not getting it back. Cut off too little, you can always cut more. All right, let's pull out our, uh, our parts. All right, so here's our Ridge Runner fender flares and body sliders. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. All righty. So we're just going to install these right now, kind of as they are. I think you could clean them up a little bit. Um, well, actually, we have to clean these up so they'll fit flush just a little bit. Um, and then w once we get them fitted, we're going to paint them. Maybe? Oh, the silver. Mm, the raw looks kind of cool. Man, that sucks that this covers the silver, but that's okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll probably end up painting them. Maybe we'll just paint them chrome. Or maybe black. Or maybe chrome on the back, black on the front. And then red? If I had his red. No, we'd just do like chrome, black, or do black, chrome, chrome. I don't know, we'll see. We're not gonna decide right now in this video, but at some point we will. And I'm sure you will see it in a future video, so. All right, we're gonna clean this up, we'll get back. Little moments later. So it should be looking a little something like this once we get it all screwed on. And uh, these inner rails have uh, drilled spots for the mag sliders, so that's cool. So I think the best way to do this is use your body reamer to uh, start some little starter holes. You probably can't see them on camera, but in the body there's little marks that tell you where the uh, screws need to go. And so just put a little starter hole in there, make it small, and then you can put your uh, fender flare on and start the screw in. Now, you can also start your screws and put them into your fender flare so all your screws are flush on the fender flare down to the bottom and then line it up that way you're not trying to you know get your screw started in the in the 3d print it's already in there you know when you have something to push against so you're not pushing against the body so get all four in there and then line it up and then go ahead and push and get your uh, screw through okay we still need to clean these up like i said but i just kind of want to get it on there as long as it's flush i'm good um before we paint it we'll sand them and do all that good stuff uh, for now, we're just going to do this, and then, let's see, the back piece will go on, and then you can, uh, like so, and, uh, yeah, you're good to go. You might just need to do some starter holes on some of these if you find it too hard, um, 
to get your screw in there. Don't try to do it through the body, just pull it out, put a screw through, back it out. That way it's kind of threaded for you. All right, pretty sweet. If you've got one of these, you can use this as reference as to how these go together. Let's see here. Okay. Pretty easy. Again, you just gotta clean them up a little bit. Way to do that with the, uh, the other guy too. Had to clean up some of the uh, print here. But again, that's to be expected. These are really for you know makers, people that like to tinker and well, it's called tinker time, right? For a reason. Go through and put a little bit of extra effort in, make it yours, right? So we're gonna dremel all this off and make it nice and flush. Um, that's why we didn't do it all the way before because we didn't know where it was gonna sit. And uh, we also were just kind of erring on the side of caution. And then we'll clean up all this whatnot. So yeah, we're excited. I just don't know what to put it on yet. Maybe. Nah, I don't know. Kind of want something a little lower. This has already got sliders on it, so we kind of plan on using the mag sliders with this, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just wanted to get some of these in my hands and uh, show them off because they're just too awesome. Too, too awesome. So we got this guy all cleaned up. We trimmed all of the edges here and the fenders and we dremeled it so it was nice and flat and even. We're really digging this body. This body is awesome. You may be asking, why is there purple duct tape there? Well, we wanted to use this build here. This is our OGRC build. Um, it's got the uh, angled skid and some QRC links. These are OGRC axles. Um, and then obviously the Furitex setup with an Emacs. Nothing too crazy. These are actually Nex double barrel conversion shocks that take your stock shocks and convert them to double barrels. Anyway, this builds over here if you want to check it out. Um, we want to take this guy. And we wanted to throw the Ridge Runner on here. And I was worried about the Lexan getting too scratched up underneath because when we were putting on our uh, fender flares here, you can see right here in the bed a little bit. It's kind of hard to see that it ended up scraping the paint off. And I don't know if that's the type of paint he used or just didn't put it on thick enough. Um, so I was worried first and foremost that we, so we don't want to remove these mounts right now just because we want to be able to swap over to this body. So we were going to use magnet mounts on here, but then I was like, you know, let's try to use the Tinker Time mag sliders. So we're going to put the sliders on here and it should match up just perfect. But that also means that our body is going to be sitting on these kind of mounts and these screws on the back when we do run it. So I don't want it to scratch, scratch onto the paint. So that's why I put the duct tape because that's the part that's where we would have put the magnets anyway, or it's where it's going to be hitting. So we'll see how close it is. We're going to put the sliders on and uh, check it out. So here's the mag sliders. It should just be to pop out these two screws and throw the sliders on. Should be good. This is what we've got for the uh, sliders. And I just want to remind everybody that there's a bunch of different mag mount slider setups that uh, Tinker Time has on their website. So make sure you check it out. They've got specific ones for the stock bodies. If you want to convert your stock body over, they've got the body side mounts, which are these little guys here that are more specific to each of the different bodies for the JKU, the Deadbolt, Gladiator, C10, all that stuff. Um, and then the they sell just the body side mounts. And I think they're 650 each. And then the full set with the sliders and slider side mounts, magnets, all that stuff, all the hardware. Those are 1650. And then there's the general or basic mag mount slider setup, which is this guy here. And um, they're just kind of meant for general Lexans. They're Lexans. Make, and, you know, sometimes you have to make adjustments or space things out to make them work uh, for a specific body if you've got like a wider body, things of that nature. But that generalized set is 15 bucks. And as I mentioned before, they do sell a bunch of extra body side mounts. So if you have a bunch of bodies and you want to put on extra body side mounts uh, so you can swap bodies around, those are five bucks. And last, they also make 
a high mount uh, set of sliders. So sliders that kind of, they angle up higher. So if you have shorter bodies, things of that nature, you can use uh, the slider that goes higher. They're called high mount sliders and they're, they're the same price. They're 15 bucks as well. Anyway, go to the website, check it out, see what all they're offering as far as the mount setups are concerned. Um, it's a bunch of cool options. Uh, the set does come with the hardware. This hardware is 1.5 millimeter. It is not 1.4, so just be aware if you're trying to put uh, these longer screws into your frame rails or into your skid. If you're running a stock skid, you'll be fine because you're going into soft plastic. Uh, these are a little bit longer and that's so that you can get through the slider, the rail and into the skid. You can also just try to use your stock screws if you want. You just may not be uh, deep into the skid. If you've got an aftermarket screw set for the SCX24, I'd recommend just putting some longer screws in. And if you don't have any of that, go ahead and use these. If you're using an aluminum skid though, I would be very careful. If you're trying to put in these uh, 1.5 millimeters into an aluminum skid, if it's taken too much, just stop. You don't want to break off a screw into the aluminum. You don't want to mess up the threads, anything like that. It's the same type of thread. It's just a slightly larger diameter screw and they do work. There's been hundreds and hundreds of people that use them uh, in the skid, so no issues there. But if for some reason you've got a really, maybe, I don't know, 70, 75 aluminum skid or something like that that just doesn't want to take the 1.5, you know, then don't, don't force it. Again, that, the size difference really is, is so minimal. I mean, you, you can probably put them in just about everything. Just I want to warn you just in case. Um, let's go ahead and get this guy installed. We're going to put the longer side. See how there's a short side and a long side? We're going to put the longer side to the rear and mount it up like so. This is an angled skid, so our sliders are going to be slightly angled, but I think it's going to work with how the body's sitting on here. Um, so yeah, we'll get the skid on there and then we'll, we'll, we'll look. And we're going to just use the skid screws, the 1.4s that we already have, because when we built this, we used slightly longer skid screws anyway. Um, so they're working just fine. You can see there was plenty of room in there. These guys are pretty much, they might even be the same length as what we were provided. Yeah, they're the same length. So. We're going to use those. And like I said, uh, I asked Tinker Time specifically about the size of these screws, and they said they've never had anybody have an issue. Um, and they just said, warning though, in a very, very tough aluminum, just be careful. Don't force it. I do really like these sliders. Even if they weren't for the mag mounts, sliders are super nice. Um, they offer you a place to mount electronics and whatnot. If you were going to not use the mag slider mount here, you would have a good place to put batteries or ESCs. And even with the mag mount slider, you know, depending on how big your ESC is or your receiver, you could actually stack an ESC on here still, you know, depending on where you mount this. You could put your ESC here or a small battery. If you're using like one of the more squared batteries, you know, you might be able to, depending on how you want to do it. But that is one of the minor disadvantages of using a mag mount slider system is that if you have, if you intend on using your sliders to mount electronics, it's going to be rough to use also to mount your body. So just be aware of that as well. Got the sliders on. Check it out. Boom. Should fit perfect. It actually doesn't touch in the back. I mean, it barely clears. There's a little bit of clear in there. And then on the front, where our mounts are for our C10 body, it looks like it just kind of barely touches. It's kind of hard to see in there, but it does barely touch. But it sits flush on the, the sliders and that's what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and get our mags set up on here and on our body. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out that's really cool about this, it puts the magnet weights lower, right? So if you have your setup like this, your magnets are kind of at the top point, right? They're not at the top of your body, obviously, but you're, you're, they're pretty high, right? Like they're here, right here in the bed, and right here on the hood. That's a pretty high point to have some heavy magnets, right? So that is the downside of having magnets for body mounts, even though we love to use magnets for body mounts. But this guy will let you set up your magnets really low, right? They're as low as you can get on your body, basically. So that is a huge benefit to using the mag sliders. Um, other than just being able to quickly swap bodies and you don't need to mess with mounts at all. You can keep this all super low profile and bam. If you want to chop your body real low and try to drop it all the way in, you get to remove all, basically your shock towers will be your limiting factor on how low you can put your body, right? And your servo, I guess. Um, it's also really good for like half cabs. It's got the FCX here. We have some Tinker Time half cabs. One of them is being painted by a buddy. So hopefully we'll have that ready for this video by the time I get done shooting it. Um, but half cabs can go in there and just boom, it fits those sliders perfect. 
perfect. Um, so that's pretty cool. Gives you just a super easy way to mount stuff. Let's go ahead and get these together. We're just going to use some super glue to super glue. You know, we just got some regular old super glue. Uh, you can use these 6000 or shoe glue as well. You can maybe use hot glue. I'd probably just use regular super glue or, you know, shoe glue. But make sure you put your magnets in uh, the same direction every time. That way they match, right, when you put them together. You don't want to have them flipped, glue them in and have them flipped, and then you're kind of in trouble. Um, these also fit very tight, which is, well, not very tight, but they fit snug, right? Uh, if you feel like once you get your body together, they're kind of not sitting flush or it's too hard, just take a little sandpaper, clean this up just a little bit. Uh, the 3D printed ridges do cause it to kind of kind of fit tight and they kind of fit snug, right? The, the ridges kind of will get stuck together a little bit. So sand it down, make it a little bit more smooth if you need to. Um, yeah, other than that, pretty simple. Super easy to put together. It's gonna be uh, super awesome to have on the rig. We're all mounted up here. We did a whole bunch of test fitting, make sure it's where we want it to be. Make sure we've got servo clearance in the front. Perfect. Looks great. I love it. Pretty slick little setup. Um, we did kind of trim this down just a little bit. Like we basically just sanded a little. You can also um, take an X-Acto and just kind of just kind of scrape at it. Clear off a little bit. Make sure there's no flash around the edges from the print. Just clean that up a little though. You can clean out the corners here a little bit if you find that it's not fitting for any reason. I mean, they, they fit. You just, you probably don't want it too tight. You want the magnets to be holding it, not the, the friction of the prints. So we cleaned it up just a little tad, and then we're going to go ahead and do our magnets. Remember, like I mentioned, on these magnets, make sure you are facing the correct directions when you glue them in. So we're going to do one side, and then we will test our, our directions, and then we'll do the other side. We'll come back. Now they are a super tight fit, so we went ahead and used some pliers, try to make sure we got them all the way down. We want it to be flush with this as much as possible. So you definitely, if you gotta use some pliers, use some pliers, just make sure you don't break your sliders or anything. But you should be able to push it down in and you're good to go. Okay, got them in there. Checking our uh, polarity and uh, we're gonna go ahead and glue these in. And there we have it, simple as that. Very, very slick. Very, very slick. Good job, Tinker Time. What a great setup. Like, that's awesome. And yes, we still have our other magnet mounts. But uh, look at this. It still works. It still works. So we've got sliders on the C10. Just regular old sliders if we want. Or we can pull this off and throw this guy on using the mag sliders or we can use some of the other bodies we can put a half cab on there got this guy i don't think this is the same magnet mounting points unfortunately but we could add mag sliders to it and boom we'd be able to throw it on there with some mag sliders we've got magnets for the other other chassis but you get my point right pretty awesome i'm digging it i'm digging it Yeah. And again, the cool thing about these is your body can't just slide off, right? Like it's it's encased essentially, the mounts. So there's no sliding forward and backward, there's no side to side slide, right? You're just you're you're stuck. You're on there. Your tires start rubbing, it's not going to push your body back or slide it to the side. I mean, your body, well the other nice thing is your body does have movement, right? Like if you if you roll, you're going to have a little bit more cushion because the body isn't you're not going to break mounts or rip the body off it'll, it'll just kind of flex a little bit because you're mounted down here at least on the lexan on our body it's a little different but it uh when you start rubbing like it's still going to hold but your body will flex a little bit right so that's nice i really dig it dude great job great job great job can't say enough about it pretty awesome all right um next well we did another one look at this guy now we still got our we literally it's still tacky so we're just we're just we're not good at painting because we are not patient this is like the best part though I mean, you look and it doesn't look that good it's got overspray and then you peel it and you're just like oh man it came out better than i thought it would Ooh, that looks that looks oh what what is this mess 
Oh no. That's a, that's a funky looking little, I don't know if that's on the inside or the outside. It's literally a fingerprint. <laughs> We're dummies. I guess we'll have to put a sticker on the door. And we're not done trimming it. Like, we're going to clean cuts, right? The cuts are not. Man, what the hell? All right. Well, again, like I said, we suck at painting. So. Our front's horrible. We just used a, a chrome pen and painted it before we painted it. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably line, outline this with a black Sharpie or black paint pen just to clean it up because that's sloppy. It looks way worse than it did when we first did it. This makes me sad. But that's okay. We'll just get a sticker on it. Like I said, we'll do something. I dig it though. And we meant to do these in black. And I totally forgot. Again, we rush. We're, we're horrible. We did this just today in like. <laughs> we started taping it off maybe two hours ago. So, Dunsies. That's how we are with our bodies and painting. I just, I just don't want to. Don't want to wait. If I get more patience, I'm sure they'll come out better. Anyway, we're gonna clean this guy up. We're gonna get it mounted at some point. Just figured I'd show you. What's crazy is that this paint is the same as this paint. It's just this is backed with silver and this is backed with just the black. It's so crazy what backing does to a color. Also, I guess how thick you put the red on or how thick you put the silver on or the black on. But yeah, this is just like two coats of red, fairly thick coats, and then two coats of black, fairly thick coats again. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Boo! Fail. That's crazy. Man, I must have had some... I washed my hands before I... I, I, I so let me just tell you what I did. I use... On this one, I used a magic eraser and just cleaned, you know, I cleaned the whole thing and then magic erasered the whole thing. And then I used dish soap and cleaned the whole thing again. You don't magic eraser over the windows. I had the windows taped off um, and I magic erasered it and then cleaned it. So we cleaned it, taped off the windows, magic erasered it, uh, dish soap cleaned it again, and then we taped it off. Oh, look at that. You can see the red without the black backing. It's almost like a pink. That's wild. Um, yeah, anyway, so we definitely cleaned it, so I don't know what happened there. I must have grabbed it with some tape residue when I was taping it, and then didn't clean it off again after we taped it, which, after you tape it, I guess you gotta kind of wipe it down again at least. Maybe not a full wash, but a, a wipe down would help. Anyway, take time bodies are sweet. Okay, we're gonna clean this up and trim it out a little bit more clean here, but I like this kind of square look at it. We'll probably chop this up a little. We haven't even set it on a truck yet. We don't even know what truck we're putting it on. Hold on. We got these two guys. I just grabbed these because, well, they're our Tinker Time Body trucks already. And they're different wheel sizes. So just kind of wanted to see what maybe the different wheel size might look like. Yeah, I mean, we definitely need to trim this out. And yeah, it's supposed to be trimmed all the way out. We thought we'd leave it just in case it looked cool with the, with the extra. So we kind of liked the extra that was on here on the front. We left all that on there. So, yeah. What about this guy? What about a mag slider truck? It's as low as we go on the front because of the body mounts we have. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely needs to be lower in the front. You could suck this guy down in. That'd be sweet. Definitely have to chop the rear, make some space. That's a cool body, guys. That is a super cool body. I'd like to keep the back. Uh, just can't really do that with big tires. It's kind of cool looking with the big long tailgate, you know. I'd clean it up a little, obviously, but maybe we can cut up. Maybe we cut out the fender in a way here, round this out, and cut this out to here. Bring it around like this, and then that'll give us still a longer bed. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. chop 
this guy right here. Maybe we'll cut that in and then chop it there. Cut it in to here. Anyway, all right. Well, here we have it, guys. We even got this one in. We were waiting on it from a buddy. Pretty sweet looking uh, paint scheme here. All the Tinker Time bodies are super easy to work with. It gives you plenty of extra material so you can kind of trim it how you want, leave it how you want, uh, leave the extra stuff if you want to have a taller body or you can chop it down real low. We added a C10 roll cage and light bar. It looks pretty slick. But overall, yeah, su super happy with these bodies. They, they look fantastic. His mounting system, the Tinker Time mounting system is really sweet it's just super easy to throw bodies on i highly recommend that if you're looking for a way to mount your bodies up and then we still got this hobgoblin to do what color should we do this hobgoblin tell us down in the comments below what you think we should do what kind of scheme color scheme we should do with the hobgoblin don't forget it comes with all the stickers the hobgoblin even has stickers for the the grill so you can block off the grill colors pretty sweet and I've seen he's got a couple more new Lexan bodies. So you've got to go and check out the website. We're going to put all the links down in the description below. I have a link to the website. And uh, you can check that out. Find all these bodies. Find all the body mount stuff. And uh, the 3D printed bodies. And anything else that Tinker Time was working on. Huge shout out to Brandon. He's doing a fantastic job with these bodies. Uh, they just they look so good. I mean, they're unique. They're, they're not what you see every day. They're all his designs, all his, you know, body designs and whatnot. So, yeah, mad props for the work that he's done on these. Yeah, I think one of the new bodies is for the Gladiator. It's a Gladiator length body. So if you got a Gladiator and you're looking for a new Lexan, definitely, definitely check that out. All right, guys. Well, I hope you learned something. I uh, hope you like what you saw here. hope you found a new body that you definitely want to pick up and paint up. And if you do, make sure you share it in the Facebook group, share it on your Instagrams, get people out there knowing about the Tinker Time Lexan bodies and the body mounting system. Why don't you put down in the comments below the colors you want for this. Also, if you made it all the way down to the end of the video, just put Tinker Time. All right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell and uh, get out there and build something awesome. Make sure you smash them, crash them, and bash them, but don't break the expensive parts or beat up your bodies too bad. Hmm, maybe we'll put this guy on the Cayman. Something like that. Cayman sits real low though, so hmm. Maybe we can get some like side steps or like fuel tanks. They already kind of look like fuel tanks. That's the ESC and the receiver. Side fuel tanks versus a fuel cell. I don't know. T tell me what you think if you're uh, still here. I know we kind of tricked you. But yeah. Our buddy Zach did this body. Zach, where do we put it? Do we put it on the 6x6? Six six? I don't know. It's pretty cool looking. Alright, we're out of here for real. Peace. Peace.